Before I begin, I want to thank everyone, from dinner makers to the support here at the church to the volunteers who have faithfully showed up every Sunday for what you guys have done to make youth group possible. The kids that we have in this church are here because of the invitation that this church has sent out through your support. So thank you guys for everything that you do. Thank you for making it possible for these kids to have a place to grow. The other part I have to do before I really begin is also say that I really do love my job. I get to start every one of the Youth Sundays with that statement because I work with some amazing kids who challenge me and who I get to see grow. And really one of my favorite moments this year was, <clears throat> it was in the video, it was Brennan standing pointing and it was him preaching out at creation and talking about how we are the light in this world. And so it's amazing to work with and see them grow and how they grow. I love, I love the usage in the Gospels of weddings. Weddings are great entry points into what the kingdom of heaven will look like. And Matthew 22, 2, Jesus starts that parable with the statement of the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet to his son. And that wedding banquet, he sends invitations out far and wide. He sends them to everyone. And there are those who reject and those who accept. And, and there's a learning and a, a parable in that of who the wedding is for. And it's for each of us. And each of us has been invited. Each of us today has started a piece of that celebration from our joy with throwing snowballs around at each other and laughing and celebrating to the joy that we'll go out in a moment and we'll have cake. Cake is always good. Cake is great at a wedding. But for me, I grew up in western Pennsylvania. And while cake is good at a wedding, there's another tradition that's even a little bit better than cake at a wedding. It's called a cookie table. And a cookie table is when every member of the bride and the groom's family gets together, and it's really about a year-long process of them picking out the best cook family cookie recipes and making them and running them by everyone, the bride, the groom, the parents, and seeing which cookies are worthy to be put out on the cookie table. Now, my sister's getting married in about a month, and Mel and I have even participated in this. We're back at Christmas. We made a whole spread of cookies and took them and had my sister sample them. My aunt who came out for a visit did this. And so this cookie table is this buildup of joining together as families. It's an invitation that comes in subtext in Western PA marriages because it's a joining of those recipes, it's a joining of the families together. And it's the height of a celebration for that wedding, which is one of the greatest called a miracle of a wedding because it's that joining of families and it's that, that joining of families that we see Jesus celebrating in in the verse from John. This is the first miracle we see God or Christ, sorry, we see Christ actively participate in and it's a miracle of celebration. It's not a miracle where he opens the eyes of the blind or heals the deaf or raises the dead. It's a miracle for the group of people that are there celebrating, the group of people that have been invited to this feast that is like the kingdom of heaven. And everyone is amazed at it. Everybody celebrates it. And the people who witness it and see it believe and rejoice and celebrate and go out from there. Today, holding that we are taking part in a small piece of the kingdom as a wedding one of the things that we get to do is go out from here. And one of my favorite psalms is Psalm 34, verse 3. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. That is the invitation for us going out from this place. We've, we've experienced worship. We've experienced it, whether it's in youth group with the fun, the games, and the faith, and the growth that we have there in our lessons to the faith and fellowship we have here in the mornings. 
Our chance now is to take the invitation that is this celebration, this moment, and go out into the world with the, the idea of asking others, bringing others to this joy. Asking them to come and celebrate and witness what Christ is doing in this time, in this place. Asking them to come and join in the celebration that is a small piece of the kingdom here on earth in this fellowship. I get to see this every Sunday in worship. I get to see this really every Sunday as students bring their friends. And it is a beautiful piece of the kingdom that we get charged with to go out and be the living invitation into this wedding, into this celebration. Let us pray. Lord, I ask that you would give us moments to see this week, to celebrate, to celebrate the invitation that you have given us in salvation of Christ and into your kingdom, into the banquet that is, is like a wedding feast. I ask that we would go serve and glorify you And in that glory, we would invite others and be an invitation to this world. I praise you and I thank you in Christ's name. Amen.